British Columbia is home to around 600 blueberry farms, producing over 90 percent of blueberries in Canada. But viruses have become rampant in recent years, making it difficult for farmers to make a profit. And unfortunately, that's, that's probably the biggest limiting factor for production here in B.C. I mean, it, production in B.C. Is, 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 is good, but it's not where it should be. And, and most farms are probably producing, I would suggest, I would say probably 50 percent of, of their potential. And one of the main reasons is scorch virus. B.C.'s blueberry farmers are being faced with two viral threats, the scorch virus and the shock virus, neither of which are toxic to humans. But if a plant is infected with scorch, it has to be removed right away. On this field alone, farmers have had to remove at least 1,000 blueberry plants in the last few years. Sometimes a plant looked very diseased and it was an area where other plants were removed. Then you'd send a test in and, and the test would come back you know, negative. It'd be like, hey, okay, the plant's fine. It didn't really make sense. But a new scientific breakthrough could have the answers farmers are looking for. A joint genomics project between the BC Blueberry Council and SFU discovered a new variant of scorch virus that wouldn't show up in traditional testing. This finding allows BC farmers to properly diagnose diseased plants and replant them. The symptoms of the viruses that we're concerned with cause what's called blighting of the stems and flowers and that reduces productivity and reduces growth. So the diagnostic tools that we're developing are going to improve the efficacy of the growers' efforts to diagnose what is infecting their plants, and that will give them better management. Scorch virus is transmitted through little green flies called aphids. Paul Gill, whose family has been farming blueberries since 1979, is in the process of replanting around 25 acres of land. He says it only works if neighboring farms also keep up with their management. Small fields are side by side other fields. And if I fully manage my plants, but my neighbor is not, you know, uh, you know, not controlling the aphids and not removing the diseased plants, well, the disease will, you know, transmit from a neighboring field. Researchers are also working to identify new blueberry varieties that would be more resistant to virus. In Surrey, Cecilia Hall, City News.